टुडे सेट टाटा स्टॉक्स वर इन अ पार्टी मूड आई डक डीपर एंड द टाटा सन्स न्यूज विच इज फ्लोटिंग अराउंड हैज नो को रिलेशन विद द अदर स्टॉक्स एंड इन माई ओपिनियन द रैली वॉज टोटली अनकॉल्ड फॉर द इन्वेस्टर्स हु बॉट टूडे दे मे गेट कॉट एट अ वेरी हाई लेवल and we'll talk about that in the nugget section today hi everyone welcome to the update of 27th august my theory with the hindustan zinc stock did not work today as expected it did go up the way i wanted but it did not reach the levels i wanted it kind of peaked at 536 so i decided to hold on the stock and take the dividend tomorrow i have 400 stocks so into 19 approximately 8000 rupees that's a decent amount let's take it from there more stocks today were in the red at closing time than green Today's hero was SBI Life followed by Shri Ram Finance. Titan went through profit booking. It has been going up for a significant time now. The large market cap sectors were distributed far off today, but two of them were in the green side. However, there was a good balance between the bulls and the bears today. Insurance came back very strongly today. Every stock including LIC was up. The laggard list today was aerospace and defense, oil and gas, personal and household. Aerospace and defense goes through a rally every now and then. However, it is looking really, really weak. None of the stocks is at 52-week high. In fact, the second one now, Cochin Shipyard, is getting into the red zone to give company to GRSE. This is the fall I was talking about, where Nifty fell a lot. So did Bank Nifty. The patterns of Nifty and Bank Nifty were same, but for most of the day, Nifty was actually above 25,000 levels. Nifty in the end managed to close just a shy above 25,000. Bank Nifty 0.26%. IT was up a lot yesterday, but hardly any gains today. Nifty Energy was down a bit, 0.6 percent. Next Nifty up a little, but defense cracked 1 percent. The FIDI data is not updated here, but today for a change, FII is actually bought 1500 crores net, and DII sold around 600 crores after a long time. So there will be a red here, and FIIs will have fourth green day consecutively after a long, long time. Airtel is having a good run up for the fifth consecutive day, 0.5 percent. ICIC also up 0.7 percent, fourth consecutive up day. But the top three stocks were down: Reliance, TCS, HDFC Bank. So were the consumption stocks, HUL and ITC. Gold corrected a bit, silver corrected a bit. Yesterday, US markets were not in a good mood at all. Nvidia as well as Tesla corrected. Now the US markets are looking at the results of Nvidia tomorrow. This will kind of set the tone for the next week or so. Nvidia is now at number two. This needs to move up. It could reclaim the first spot tomorrow if the results are good. I don't expect the results to be bad. The doubt in my mind is how will Nvidia use the super cash flow it is going to get this year and next year. Now the Road and Transport Ministry today announced that auto manufacturers will offer discounts on scrapping old vehicles. This makes me believe that the crisis in auto is getting worse and worse every day. Also, 12 government-run major ports will have a strike from tomorrow. This is not Adani-owned ports; these are government ports. Today, just 18 sectors were up compared to 24 yesterday. This market bet worsened in the last one hour considerably. Tata Motors and Mahindra were down today. Maruti was up. All three of them are 10% approximately away from the 52-week high. Beverage is back corrected today also. L&T was up a lot. In fact, in that day, it was up around two and a half percent. Then it fell to one point seven percent up only. Cement top four players were down. I bought Trent yesterday, and it corrected yesterday as well as today. Astral was up a percent yesterday. Today it was down a percent. Rest all stocks in the sector were up. Investment banking, HDFC asset management was up two point three percent. Very minor cuts in the remaining stocks, but Tata Investment was up twenty percent. We'll talk about it in the nugget section. Siemens down, ABB up. Pharma mankind also joins the 52-week high club. It was up 3.2 percent. Now only Zydus is down. Real estate was mixed bag. Macrotech was up, but Prestige was down 3 percent. Kalyan Jewelers down. So was Titan and Page Industries. Today there is a new look to Nifty 50 and Nifty Next 50. Do let me know your comments. I believe this format will be lot more visible whether you see it on a mobile or a computer. Today maximum impact came from Infosys, ICICI, L&T, Maruti, Bajaj Finance. The yellow bars are indicative of high volume. So ICICI, L&T, Maruti, Bajaj Finance, all the players which were taking Nifty up, they had good volumes. Nifty was being dragged by Reliance, HUL, Titan, ITC, Tata Motors, NTPC, JSW Steel. The volumes were not very high here. Today I have created a greed and fear index for the sectors also. Metals and mining is most reasonable with an average value of two. Coal is next five. Personal and household five point three seven, followed by banking. 
द मोस्ट ग्रीड इज इन इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर फॉलोड बाय फार्मा कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इंजीनियरिंग टेक्सटाइल एंड अपेरल फूड एंड टोबैको दिस हीट मैप इज अगेन ग्रीड एंड फियर ओनली दिस इज द फियर जोन टाटा मोटर्स इज इन मोस्ट फियर फॉलोड बाय एक्सिस बैंक कोल इंडिया श्रीराम फाइनेंस इंडसेंट बैंक बी पी सी एल दिस इज डिविज लैब फॉलोड बाय एच डी एफ सी लाइफ एस बी आई लाइफ विप्रो जे एस डब्ल्यू स्टील हीरो मोटर्स हिंडालको नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी नाइन स्टॉक्स डाउन ट्वेंटी वन अप मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स दैट वर टेकिंग नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी अप हैड गुड वॉल्यूम्स दो स्टॉक्स वर आर ई सी पावर फाइनेंस चोला मंडलम आई सी आई सी अप्रूव एल आई सी एस बी आई कार्ड्स बर्चर पेंट्स निफ्टी नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी वॉज बिंग ट्रैक डाउन बाई यूनाइटेड स्पिरिट्स बी एल मारिको जिंदल स्टील डाबर हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड दिस ग्राफ इज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई अदानी टोटल गैस अदानी पावर अदानी एनर्जी दे आर मोस्ट अवे फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू वीक हाइज फॉलोड बाय आई आर एफ सी रिलायंस ओपन एट द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द डे अबव थ्री थाउजेंड दैन इट केम डाउन क्लोज जस्ट अ शाई अबव थ्री थाउजेंड टी सी एस वॉज रियली चॉपी होल्ड डे सो वॉज एच डी एफ सी बैंक इट क्लोज टूवर्ड्स द लोएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द डे एयरटेल वॉज अप आई सी आई सी ए अप एज यूजल इन्फोसिस अप एल एन टी अप एच यू एल वॉज डाउन होल्ड डे आई टी सी वॉज डाउन होल्ड डे विक्स केम डाउन होल्ड डे निफ्टी एक्चुअली डिड नॉट डू मच टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द डे जस्ट क्लोज द लिटिल अबव वेर इट स्टार्टेड बैंक्स एड ऑफ द मंथली एक्सपायरी टूमोरो वर रियली चॉपी नियरली ऑल बैंक करेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द डे एक्सिस बैंक वॉज अप होल्ड डे कोटक महिंद्रा फेल अ लॉट एंड देन वेंट अप एंड कंसोलिडेटेड पी एन बी डाउन बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा चॉपी इंडसेंट चॉपी बैंक निफ्टी एज अ रिजल्ट टू का यू टर्न समय अराउंड टू थर्टी डिफेंस पैक वॉज वीक टूडे एच ए एल बी एल मसगांव डॉग बी डी एल कोचिन शिप यार्ड अटेम्प्टेड टू गो अप टूवर्ड्स द मिडल ऑफ द डे ब्रेक फ्रॉम द पैटर्न बट देन इट केम डाउन सिवियरली सोलर इंडस्ट्रीज जी आर एस सी डेटा पैटर्न जेन टेक्नोलॉजी नथिंग वॉज पेड नियरली ऑल स्टॉक्स वर डाउन मेटल्स टूडे केम डाउन जन कॉपर जिंदल टाटा स्टील जे एस डब्ल्यू इंडालको सेल एन एम डी सी वेदांता वॉज अ लिटिल चॉपी बट इट स्टार्टेड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द डे हिंदुस्तान जिंग स्टार्टेड एट द टॉप ऑफ द डे इमीडिएटली केम डाउन देन वेंट अप बट क्लोज एट अ लोअर पॉइंट फ्रॉम द ओपनिंग हाई द रेंज वॉज ऑल्सो अ वेरी लो फाइव थर्टी टू अबाउट फाइव थर्टी सेवन आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस टू बी वेरी हाई टूडे सेवन एट परसेंट एटलीस्ट Note that to be eligible for the dividend, the buy was supposed to be done today, T plus one. So you will get the delivery tomorrow and become eligible for the dividend because ex-dividend date is tomorrow. IT sector today, Infosys was up, but everyone else was down. Energy sector corrected today. In the power companies, only NTPC and JSW Energy are close to 52 week highs now, but other companies like Power Grid, Tata Power, they are not very far off. In the oil companies, a lot more companies are in the green. And my stocks, Indian Oil and Mangalore Refinery, they are not in the green. They are still far off. Consumption pack today corrected a lot. It has gone up significantly. There was a profit booking needed. Most stocks in this pack are in green zone. Only Nestle is away, but it is just ten percent away from the fifty-two week high. So is Adani Wilmer. In terms of my investments, today I sold Tata Investments. but i sold it when it was consolidating at 10% up kind of levels then it went up another 10% and hit upper circuit of 20% missed the bus by 10% booked only half of the profit that i could have made today but that's okay there's a news that tata sons has paid back around 2 and 1/2 billion dollars of their debt and they will not have to list tata sons now a lot of people got confused with that news and they bought every tata company they could put a hand on especially tata investments which i just mentioned a lot of people get confused between tata investments and tata sons they are totally different companies look tata investments is here it owns a share in some companies and i'll talk about it but it does not hold every company it is not at the center of the tata group that company Me is Tata Sons, which was listed till about few years back, and then it was delisted by Tata Sons. So this is approximately the tree is slightly dated. Tata Sons is at the top. Then there are IT companies, steel companies, automotive companies. Tata Technology is under Tata Motors. Consumer and retail, infrastructure, financial services, aerospace and defense, tourism, telecom, trading and investments. This is Tata Investments. Again, this is slightly dated. Just to give you an idea that Tata Sons is lot bigger. Tata Sons chairman is N Chandrasekharan. Who was earlier the CEO of TCS, which is the largest Tata Group company. Shareholding pattern: there are trusts and there are individuals. For example, Sir Dorabji Tata Trust holds 27.98 percent. Sir Ratan Tata Trust holds 23.5 percent. There are individuals also. For example, Noel Tata 
he holds 1%. Then there are companies like Tata Steel, Tata Motors, which hold about 3% each in Tata Sons. And Tata Sons holds shares in them. Then there are other members of the Tata family who own minor stakes. Now, history wise, Mr. N. Chandrasekhar took over as chairman of Tata Sons on 21st February 2017. At that time, the company turned itself from a public limited company to a private one. But these decisions were challenged in the court by Cyrus Mistry. In December 2019, NCLT declared the conversion as illegal and they made Mr. Mistry the head of the Tata Group. In January of 2020, however, Supreme Court stayed the NCLT's order. On 26 March 21, the Supreme Court upheld Tata Sun's decision to sack Cyrus Mistry. And Cyrus Mistry, of course, died in a car crash later on. This is the history of Tata Sun's delisting itself. It is no longer on the stock exchanges. Tata Investment is a very small part of the overall Tata group. It is also a holding company. It does not do any business of its own. Now, as per regulatory requirements, Tata Sun was supposed to go for an IPO, but they had a debt which they have repaid now, $2.5 billion approximately. After that, there is no obligation to list now. That was the news. Now, Tata Investments holds some stake in Tata Consumer, Tata ELXI, Tata Motors, Tata Steel. TCS, Trent, Tata Chemicals. But these holdings are very low. Look, Trent 4.28%, Tata Consumer 4.65%, Tata Motors 0.3.34% in Tata Steel. These are minuscule percentages, not worth too much. If you look at Tata Suns, these are the listed companies in the Tata Group. TCS, Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Titan, Tata Chemicals, Tata Power, Indian Hotel Company, Tata Communications, Voltas, Trend, Tata Investment, Tata Metallics, Tata ELXI, Nelco, and the latest one, Tata Technologies. The next one will be Tata Capital. Now, when we look at Tata Group, which includes various entities, trust and all, they hold 40% in Indian Hotel Company, 30% in Tata Chemical, 49% in Tata Communication, TCS, they have 72%, which is the highest. Tata Investment also, they own 73%. Trend, 32%, Voltas, 30%, Titan, 25%, Tata Steel, 33%, Tata Power, 33%, and so on. So if you have made an investment into any Tata Group company because of the news today, then please evaluate your decision and make sure that you have taken the right decision. Otherwise, maybe consider exiting and booking the profits tomorrow or day after. I could not find any news, for example, why Tata investment is up and also about Tata ELXI, why it is up 16-17% today. Hope this update on the Tata Group structure, especially around the clarity on Tata Sons versus Tata Investment was helpful because a lot of people get confused around that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.